Hey kids, Inverted Cow here. Welcome back to Autonauts. Uh, going to start working on the first of the things on our next level of uh, of upgrades. The pumpkin pie. <laughs> now the first step that we have to work on on the pumpkin pie, of course, is crude dough. Um, that's kind of where we're going to work towards today. And I've been doing a little prep work here. Uh, I made a bunch of the kitchen components, uh, food stuff and whatever that I need, wherever it is. So I have some of the kitchen stuff to get started on the pumpkin pies, hopefully. And I was debating on whether or not I wanted to import everything into the kitchen area, manufacture the, the pies or the stuff themselves, and then set up the pie ovens and whatnot and start cooking it down here. Or do I go over here where I already have the preliminary uh, for the porridge and stuff already set up and actually just increase the porridge productions and like increase these porridge productions and manufacture the porridge and the wheat down here because I will eventually need uh, porridge, wheat, good wheat, or good flour, I guess. Uh, so flour, good flour, and butter all out of this area uh, and import all of that into the thing. So I'm kind of thinking that might be the way to go I already have the stuff here for the uh, for the crude porridges. I can get the fresh water here. I've got the watering cans here for for the bots to work with. I'm already making the clay pots down here, so I don't even have to go for far for those. And um, I'm growing the wheat here, so it'll be easy to put in the the kerns and the 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 grind mills, grist mills, or whatever down here and start producing the wheat as well and just export that straight out. I cleared a spot here for the pumpkins to go in and um, I've got basically everything ready for that next uh, aspect. I might have to clear off some land here, just go and remove these bushes and whatnot, but that's pretty minor. <clears throat> So we're going to just start by placing down. I'm going to put down another four. Now that's probably going to be more raw porridge than I need. But the idea will be um, that I will be expanding the bread production. I mean, then everything else requires dough uh, or requires either crude dough or requires... Um, uh, good dough like the burgers require dough there's a, actually a couple of spots in each of these recipes that they require the dough basically if you go into food here you get to the point this requires dough for the pumpkin stew so two dough is required for the pumpkin stew and then the pie requires two stews so that's four dough and three pastry per per um, per pie. So those those doughs have to be crafted. And then what was the one? The next level, of course, is going to be carrot cake. You know, carrot cake requires uh, cake batter, which requires the good flour and research. can't back this up here. Carrot cake, please. It also requires, um, there it is, uh, the honey glazed roasted carrots, you know, which I believe is, doesn't require any pastry in that. So it's like the carrots. Yeah, it's just straight up uh, spiced carrots 
to carrot stir fry with honey. So I mean that should be too not too bad. But it does require ovens. But that's the next that's level six, so I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, and of course level seven, the fish burgers I believe require pastries. And the stew requires pastry and the uh, fish cakes themselves or the fish burgers themselves require good dough and fish cakes which also requires cake batter so that's you know that's where we're going to be at when we get to the fish burgers they're going to be doing a lot of redundancy so adding extra down here early on isn't going to be a big deal because I might have to actually scale this up add even more for example so now these are all fairly simple of course the crude mixing pots it's the crude oatmeal <clears throat> I may have to increase our production of clay pots here though or I might have to start returning more clay pots from the kit from the uh, I might have to start returning more clay pots from the uh, uh, the 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 village here. So we want is watery porridge. Now again, it's going to be fairly simple. We've done a lot of these um, processes in the past. Okay, his job is going to be to grab a can, grab water, add water to all four of these pots. Okay, so yeah, that's going to be over. I'm going to have to put some memory upgrades on this guy, but that's all right. Um, Forever. So we're going to need to do this. Until hands empty. Let me just take all of that. It's all going to get put in there. <clears throat> Until held item empty. Held object empty. Fail. And we'll just have to repeat this. I might actually have to do is split him up. I don't know if there's. I think there's a maximum I can only do on him anyway. And then we'll just put the whole loop above the watering can storage. And we're going to stop recording, keep changes. We're going to say, come to me. Throw the watering can at you. <clears throat> Seven kilobytes extra needed. All right. I uh, don't know if the great memory storage will do seven or more, but we'll find out. We'll go crack one of those open. Okay, we'll go insert that and see if that helps. <clears throat> and he will become the click on this guy you have one kilobyte free so you can do that with a single upgrade all right you get to work we're gonna test your hand your thing I didn't adjust his 
areas of effect so he's actually picking up a large area but it shouldn't make too much difference he'll just go straight over that oops guy should be on his way down and while he's at it I'm going to get the guy to crank me out a couple more basic thoughts okay mr. happy oats here you dude you will be too Don't I have a... Oh, I do. Right there. Come over here. Oh, uh, hold on. Teach. Come and take this. And we're going to just pause that for a second. I'm going to take four. Teach. And then we'll target all four of these again. One, two... Three, four, forever. I'm going to have to make a new uh, upgrade for him as well. So I'll probably do is I'll crank out a bunch of upgrades. Oops. Upgrade this just until hands full. It's going to be four hands empty or fail. Until hands empty or fail. Okay, so I'm going to have to make him a uh, a memory upgrade as well. So I just get him to come and stand over here. <clears throat> now I need a guy to do clay pots. Same thing. He's going to need either a memory upgrade or a hand upgrade or both. Hmm. Now the easy method would be just to grab a bender bot and use him. But I could just do the same thing as the last bot there and just put an upgrade on him. And he's just going to have to take three at a time and just cycle through. So you, you're going to be, and you're going to come over here and you're going to grab those. I'm going to pause this for a second. I'm just going to take four. And then you're going to add one to each pot. Once again, it's a forever. Repeat until hands full. Take from pot. Hands empty. Or fail. Because they will get out of sequence. They'll start doing doubles or triples in this or doubles in the same pot. So that's also a thing. My concern is is if I do this what will happen I will end up with um, I will end up with four things making porridge and they will have an infinite supply they won't ever get picked up or cleaned out they will just literally keep cranking and cranking and cranking until I have these mountains of porridge sitting here that isn't being used. So actually what I need to do is make this guy my uh, this is my control. So he's one. One. Can I please get out? No, this is bulls. You know what? Bulls can stay on. Um, yeah, we'll keep him like that. I'll come over here, get him here. This guy, put him down, stupid. This guy here, the oats, 
my oats guys will be my control. So what I will do is I'll have four of these guys and each one will just do one uh, one mixing pot. So instead of um, can I just get you to do that please? Thank you. So it'll be this and then we'll put one more loop in here. Until question is full, of course, question being uh, question being this mixing pot, mixing pot three, that, until that is full forever. Because that way he will just stand there and keep trying to put in, and I'll do that for all four pots. I'll get all four pots going. Okay, so I'm going to drag three more guys down here. I'll program each of those three guys to do the same. And then we need to get one uh, speedy bot here hauling. Uh, I want to haul the bowls back over, I think, because I'm going to have to start picking the bowls up and using them. Because there's too many bowls on the ground over here. And I've got like a wheelbarrow of them sitting here not being used. These, they're dragging them out of the dish pile there constantly. And there's a constant supply coming in. Uh, so maybe it might be a good idea to haul some of them back out. If I'm going to reuse them. We'll think about that. We'll get that done. I'll have to build a new... Uh, cart for that as well. I'll have to build a bunch of carts. Um, okay, so what's the next step in the dough production? Flour, right? Crude dough, I need the porridge, and I need crude flour. Crude flour is from the rotary kern. right there. I might have to make another one. Now this will be fairly simple. This one I think we should be able to just get away with just grabbing this guy and you're going to be crude flour. F-L-O-U-R. Thank you for spell. <laughs> I know spell good today. Okay, his job is going to be to come here, take from seed storage until hands full, add to the device. Until hands empty. Do this until this is full forever. And that's it. He can get to work. So I think it takes a couple of flowers per recipe. Yeah. Okay, so that's the flower. So what I, I need to do here is I'm just going to pause. I'm going to make up a couple of uh, crude carts and a couple transport bots and I'll finish off making up the other other three uh, oats guys and I might see about making a different I'm kind of debating on having this guy actually take from a wheelbarrow instead. So I have a, a guy bring a wheelbarrow full of, of bowls back and just have this guy grab them from there instead. Because uh, it's just going to basically keep recycling those bowls. So we're going to pause here and we'll be right back after I have gotten um, a few more things organized. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Okay. 
and we are back. Uh, the ki the uh, bots are programmed up. Again, these are all set to not work if these are full. Um, I have all, all of them turned off right now. I just want to get a few things going. I put a memory upgrade in the porridge bowl bot, but I'm going to change his pickup from this to a wheelbarrow. I'm going to bring a wheelbarrow over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this little fella here. He is going to be the teach. This is going to be a convoluted one, I'm sure, but we'll go here, have him pick up that, okay, pick up the wheelbarrow. This should be a find, engage. Um, I'm going to have him come over here and disengage. Uh, I'm going to have a find and insert. And finally, I'm going to just have a move command to come over here. Now what we'll do is we'll adjust these. So find crude wheelbarrow in this section here. We're going to move this over. The only problem is, is it's very hard to tell where the wheelbarrow is because the animation for it is so large. But hopefully that's the right spot. <clears throat> the clay pot region. Yeah, it's fine. It can stay over the whole of the town. Actually, what I might do is expand it fully over the whole of the town. I don't want it to cover the research area because there's a good chance that I might have more clay pots in the research area. I don't know how big the town's going to be, but that should be sufficient. So one block down. That should be all he needs. If I have clay pots way over here, well, then he can pick them up too. Okay, uh, and then finally find crude wheelbarrow. Again, we'll just reduce that down to a little two by two, or one by two kind of thing. Place that on top of the other one. All right, let's put some loops in here first. Uh, we'll do a repeat until hands full. Do this. The wheelbarrow will hold 20, right? He has six hands, the wheelbarrow will hold 20. So again, we're gonna have to do hands full. And hands empty. Until hands empty. And we'll have to do that times three. times three, so that should be 18 in the wheelbarrow. Okay. <clears throat> then Find and engage the wheelbarrow. Right? Then move to 
there, which is where I'm at now, right? Let's move to there. And then we're going to put a weight. We'll put a loop with a weight until question empty, of course. Now question is going to be the wheelbarrow that he should be targeting. So question being this is empty, weight, and this is in time in seconds. So just wait one second or I can say wait uh, 10 seconds. Okay, when the wheelbarrow's empty, then move to, move to there, which would be an arrow on top of where the wheelbarrow sits, and disengage. Do that forever. And that should be his job. So he can get started. I don't even have to add memory to him or nothing. This is great, he can get started. I could probably put a speed upgrade on him, but I'm not too worried. I want him to clean up all these pots that are laying around here because the more of these I can recycle back into the thing, the better and the faster the kitchen works. Right now, this guy is keeping this full at 100. My redundancy pile isn't getting used. So when he comes over with a load of bowls, I'll get this guy to target those, and then that will be good. So that'll be those started. Next I want, I need one more cart. I wanted one for the flower too. Uh, nerds, all right. Oh, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> okay, so I gotta wait for some panels and some poles to get made up. So what I'll do here is I'll grab this guy, and he is going to become the <clears throat> um, the dough uh, porridge transporter. Teach. Okay, again, we'll just do is we'll engage the cart. <clears throat> we'll come over here and disengage the cart. <laughs> That's a long walk for my poor guy. All right, then he's going to take a thing and throw it in the cart. So now let's adjust these zones. Again, this should be just a one by one. Do all of this. So you'll fill the cart. Then you'll find the cart. You'll engage the cart. Now I need one move command here. And then above and beyond that, it's until question mark is empty. Again, question mark being the cart. We'll put a wait. And I'll say again, 10 seconds. Move back to here and disengage. So now the only thing else I have to do, oops, save this, remove that. The only other thing I have to do is get him to move over here. Now he's just going to move into the storage room. Right there. Unfortunately, you can't edit on the fly, which is really annoying, but that's okay. So engage the cart, move over here, do your thing, and don't stand around looking smart. Get to work. Okay, while he's doing that, we'll go see if our panels are finished. Okay, we finally got ourselves the cart made with only a few minor incidents. 
So this is going to be our dough. Again, it's going to be the same as the last one. We're just going to engage the crude cart. I'll bring them over here and we will disengage the crude cart. All right, and then we will do is pick up oatmeal, put in cart, cart holds 32. I think I might just do a single pick it up and put it in until it's full because otherwise it's going to be too much of a pain in the butt. So, uh, let's reduce the crude cart one down again to a one square until question mark is full. Question mark being the crude cart. You will. Uh, can you please just do this? Find the forage, collect the forage, add to the crude cart until the cart's full. Um, when the cart's full, find the cart, engage the cart. Now we need one more move command again. He's going to move over here beside the other fella. I'm gonna put a little bit of space between them. Engage the cart, move here until cart is empty. And wait, 10. I just have to target that cart, which is on the far side of the map again. That's okay. Until watery porridge storage. Watery porridge storage cart. There you go. Say that 300 times fast. <clears throat> Find the cart. Move here. Wait until 10. Wait until it's empty. And then disengage. And that's your life, dude. Have at it. Now, that's going to get him picking up the watery porridges from up here as well. Um, I don't think that should be an issue. Uh, mainly because they will stockpile when these guys have, uh, have already made their thing. These ones will stockpile and it's not going to hurt it any if we make a few extras a little bit faster. So our next step in the crude dough is we're going to need a kitchen table. Now this is going to be my bakery area anyway, so this is fine. We're just going to put it right down here. Maybe we'll put it close to the... Uh, there's a good question. Where's, where's a good spot for it, right? think it requires um, walls. So put it there. Yes, it requires walls and floor. Do I have any made up? No, I don't. So I need to make up some walls. I'm assuming I'm probably going to have multiple kitchens. So I want to actually have this large enough for more than one I suppose what I could do is actually just put down a couple of them here, like that. Okay, so we're just going to just select all this, send it over for construction. Okay, we finally managed to get the kitchen built <laughs> so we're just going to grab a couple of guys to get them to start making crude dough uh, of course I forgot to make guys <laughs> uh, 
The recording of this episode has taken slightly longer than I had anticipated. Um, I am noticing a backlog right now in the weeds. So what I'll probably do is I'll throw a couple more guys on weed production, get them working in the weed uh, farm slightly more and increase the input of weeds because this is slowing down. These aren't producing enough to feed these guys. And I've still got the pumpkin pies, which will require weeds, I think, uh, in one or two spots on the recipe alone are going to be seriously straining what we're producing. If we're not even able to keep up with this, uh, they'll never keep up. So we'll have to definitely add I'm probably going to do is add at least two more harvesters and three more collectors, collector planter guys. But have you finished making me a guy? You have. Oh, okay. Dough. Maker. One. All right, Mr. Doughmaker One, your job is to come here, take one of these, put in the thing, take one of these, put in thing. There you go, that's your job. <laughs> okay, and record. You will do this until this is full, that is this. Um, Actually, I could do times two, times two, times two, times two, but you know what? I really don't. It just has to literally be uh, forever until the kitchen table's full. Because he'll just go to one, grab it, come back, go to one, grab it, come back. Uh, that should be all it is. Take it. Put it. Take it. Put it, rinse and repeat, and there we go, it's full, he's going to sit there and freak out and wait, perfect. So close him off. So now we have crude dough made. Um, we are one step closer to our objective of making um, the first ingredient, or the next ingredient in the next evolution chain, which is the pumpkin pies. So thanks all for watching, kids. Hope you're enjoying Auto Knots, and I'll see you on the next episode. Good night for now.